GIFs or GIFs, it doesn't matter. What matters is that now you can export GIFs directly from DaVinci Resolve. Now you do need to be on 18.5 at least, and all you have to do is go to the delivery tab and change the format to GIF. The codec will be animated GIF by default. Select your resolution, make sure you know this in advance, that way the aspect ratio doesn't get messed up. Usually you want to use a GIF that's 1920 by 1080 p anyways, at least I never had to. What I have used it a lot for was when I had logo animations that then clients wanted to use on their websites or on email signatures and stuff like that. So they should be just smaller, right? But here you can adjust that. Now these are the GIF settings. The first one is the last frame delay. Now I'm not exactly sure if this means that it will slow down a little bit towards the end or right before the end, but I will probably just leave these at zero. For the palette generation, you have three options here. Off, medians, and clusters. So what do these mean? Basically is the way in which each palette is created. I wasn't exactly sure what these meant, so I asked Google. Maybe I should have asked ChatGPT. But anyways, this is what Google had to say about these two. So the median might be a way to keep your images sharper and also try to reduce noise. Now this is what the same clips will look like when they are GIFs. Now for the number of colors. The higher number you choose, the closer your colors will be to your original clip. But it also means that your file might be bigger. Now this is the same clip with the three different color number options. Now the next point is the image offsetting box, which I couldn't find a specific answer to this element right here. But here's what the same clip looks like with it on and off. But if you do know the difference, let us know down in the comments. That way we all become a little bit smarter. And the last thing here is loop settings, which as the name says, allows you to have a GIF that either loops continuously or it just does one run of your clip or animation. Or you can also select how many runs or plays you want it to have. Now the advanced and subtitles options are pretty much the same. So yeah, that is all about creating GIFs in DaVinci Resolve. And if you want to keep mastering DaVinci Resolve, make sure to watch this video next.